Well, hey guys, how you doing tonight? This is Bear with Bear's Den Acrylic Art, back with another painting video. <clears throat> so, in front of me, I have a 24 by 24 by one and one half inch, and this is a size canvas that I don't believe I've ever worked on before. But, you know, I took advantage of the sale that Michaels had, and I needed to get rid of this base color, this kind of slop bucket, um, you know, pale orange. It's, it was, you know, browns and yellows and reds and gold. Uh, so I played around with it, trying to get it to, you know, an agreeable hue. Um, although to be honest, I don't know if I've ever been like <laughs> less sure about a base color like this. Um, so we're going to do a Dutch pour on this, which is why I've taken the liberty of flooding the canvas already. Now, my job here is twofold, or my hope, I guess, is twofold. One, I am trying to avoid, um, like, any kind of orange creamsicle. And two, uh, and this is more apt for, <laughs> you know, my own experience, I'm trying to avoid um, what I call like space bacon. <laughs> now, every time I've tried to do like a Dutch pour in orange, um, you know, it ends up looking like really, really great. And then everyone says, hey, that looks like bacon, which, <clears throat> you know, as much as I love bacon, I don't know if I want to be reminded of it every time, you know, I look at a painting. Uh, or maybe I do, who knows? But, uh, you know, so we are going to be using, you know, some oranges, uh, you know, some unexpected colors uh, just to try and avoid that. All right. So as far as like my composition goes, I'm going to start, you know, over here and I guess I'll kind of snake down towards this corner and back up and out. So the first color that I'm putting down, and again, this is what my gut is telling me, and my gut has lied to me before, so we'll see, but this is Smalt Hue by Golden, which, you know, when you mix it up, it looks, you know, like a very, like a, a very, very light kind of Golden's Payne's Gray. Um, but like I said, I wanted to avoid... Um, <laughs> you know, the space bacon. Uh, and this is, this is what my gut told me. So we are going to see, <laughs> we're going to see if it lied. All right. So like I said, we'll start right around here, kind of snake down and back up and out. And I really do wish I had this in a squeeze bottle, but what are you going to do? All right, in fact, you know what? I will start by putting down, just to get my roadmap, I'll start with the iridescent pearl. And I don't mind having, uh, you know, more of that. Something like that. Okay. All right. I just needed the roadmap. So next, all right, so now we're going to come in with the small. And I do wish I had this in a squeeze bottle because when you're pouring out of a cup for a Dutch pour, it is a lot more difficult to, you know, achieve uniformity, as you can see. But what are you going to do? Now, all of these paints um, have been mixed the same. Um, it is, you know, two parts U.S. Floetrol to one part paint. 
to about 7.7 7 parts ish water. Metallic Burnt Orange by Modern Masters. Which is just a really great color. Very, very sparkly. All right, so next, this is Quinacridone Gold by Deco Art Media. Which is a passable, you know, it's a reasonable facsimile of the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. All right, I am going to put down just a little bit more, just really, really thin bead of the pearl. All right, next, Azo Orange by Amsterdam. Whoops. And we got a little crusty bit that came off the bottle top. We don't want that. All right, so for my metallic copper gold by Arteza. Yeah, I took a break, obviously, from the 24 by 36 little series that I'm doing. Um, just because I needed to use this uh, base color before it decided to go south in the bucket, which is what happens when I don't use distilled water. Naples Yellow by Artist Loft. All right, now just because I have it left over from the last pour, this is what's left of the Pearl Strawberry Red, which is also by Arteza. And figured why not, don't want it to go to waste. All right, and then last, because there is a lot of paint on here, this is Bordeaux by Arteza. All right. So, the housekeeping portion. So we're going to blow this out and hopefully we get, we get something nice. I forgot to get Drew Barrymore ready. All right. So I think we are going to start right here. Okay. Now I don't mind if some of this kind of flows over. Um, so yeah, here we go, fingers crossed, let's do it.
All right. I'm not at a very good angle for this. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. And if you're wondering why I sound surprised, it's because I'm surprised. Now I am wondering, well, I'm wondering what this is. Oh. I am wondering how much artist loft soft body white was in this base color. Uh, because I'm seeing a lot of the, uh, the eating of the paints, uh, especially where they're blown a little thinner. Um, but, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of ambivalent about this. I'm not quite sure how to feel. Uh, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to clean up the edges. I might break out the straw and fiddle a little bit. Um, and then I will bring you in for the look-see and, you know, we'll go from there. So I'll meet you down here in just a minute. All right, guys, here is the finished product. Sorry for the glare as usual. So you can see where... I think, or why, I guess, I think there was some Artist Loft soft body white in that base. Um, thankfully, you know, it's not consuming the composition too, too much. Sorry for the glare. You know, I did take my straw to a couple places just to try and, you know, pull in some more color. Uh, but, I mean, there is... Wow, that's really terrible lighting, sorry. Um, there are some really, really good things happening. I love the lacing. I'm glad, believe it or not. Uh, oh, that, that little section right there with the quinacridone gold and the burnt orange, that looks pretty cool, especially next to the small. Um, no, what I was saying is I'm actually glad that I used the smalt, um, it needed, I think it needed a darker color, you know, other than like the Bordeaux. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it dries. Um, you know, I like that this little section right here, you can kind of see that there is some, some sparkle to it. So it's not like it's completely devoid of, you know, anything. But I just have, I'm not sold on the base, so therefore I'm not sold on the piece. So let's check back and, 
you know, see what this looks like in a couple days when it's dry and we'll decide if it's a keeper. Well, thank you very much for joining me for this uh, misadventure in painting. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this just based on uh, what is happening with it. Uh, just having let it sat for a couple minutes, um, you know, the, uh, the artist loft soft body uh, strikes again. Uh, but, you know, you live, you learn. So, uh, you know, we post our good and we post our bad. So if you are new and you like what you see or are not willing to judge my entire channel based on what you just saw, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe and hitting the thumbs up. That does help me a lot. Um, you can also hit the bell icon to be notified of when I upload new content. Uh, and by all means, please feel free to leave a comment. I very much enjoy getting the constructive feedback. So, um, you know, you can check out my other work if you're interested. It's on my Facebook or Instagram page under Bears Den Acrylic Art. You can also email me directly at bear at bearsdenacrylicart.com if you have any questions, or you can just message me through those platforms. So I will be posting the dry results. I'm not going to scrape it just because I don't want to, you know, have to reuse the base color. Um, so we'll see what it looks like when it dries just for posterity's sake. Uh, so until then, my friends, I will see you back next time. Everyone have a wonderful week. Bye. Okay, so here are the dry results. And naturally, this dried absolutely perfectly. So, you know, the, the crazy thing is now that it's dry, I don't hate it. I just really don't love it. Um, you know, they're is a little bit too much of the base coat coming through on the blowout. And that is a direct result of using, um, you know, the, the base that I had scraped, you know, it was this kind of like a slop bucket, but it definitely had the artist loft soft body white. You know, there is some really great sheen to this from the metallic burnt orange from Modern Masters uh, and the pearl strawberry red. So, you know, <laughs> it dried perfectly. So yay. Uh, that being said, I can't wait to paint over this. Um, so <laughs> you know what? You live, you learn. So there you go.